All right, uh, let's continue where we left off. So um, the first thing I want to do is move this to scripts as well. And I'm going to center the player name. Actually, Yeah, it should be fine. Um, then the next thing, I think we wanted to add a slider. That was this one. And then rename it. Oh, let me just. We got background, fill area, and fill. Mm, arc transform. I think I can probably just take out that one. Just put that there. And then I'll just mod this one accordingly. Input field background. Just trying to do the same thing I did last time. And I'm not going through the tutorial that's there, so uh, that should do it. And then I need a foreground. I think I can just, well, let me see if there's something similar over here. I need the, uh, da, 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 da. I think I'll just duplicate the background and just I'm probably doing this differently than before, but that will have to do. So it was like that, and then those are going to stay the same. Change this to green. Um, I think that should do it. Let's see if I put my script on. I don't think I put my script on the canvas, so I need to do that. Call this uh, billboard. Move that to scripts. Um, do I have bullets spawn? Yeah, I already did that. I think um, that's going to be good for the player prefabs. So let's go ahead and for now move it to prefabs. 
So now that's all been applied to the prefab. And I think we can duplicate the player to create the enemy prefab as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Command E, duplicate, rename to enemy, and I want to remove the gun. Yeah, I'm going to break the uh, instance there. That's no longer matching. Um, So we're, we're going to share the same scripts. So that should remain the same there. And I'm uh, going to want to add the, uh, the mohawk. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this after I click apply just to be safe. So we can see our enemy there. Um, let's switch the colors out, so that's going to be like that. And we're going to add the mohawk. So. Oh, uh, one other thing. Let me just add that to the prefab real quick and then uh, delete that, add the player. But I think I um, need to adjust the text. You see how the text is like in the same Y position. So let's move that up a little bit higher. Uh, player name. I think what I can do is just adjust the uh, text alignment, but I just want to make sure I'm doing the same thing. No, that doesn't look quite right. Um, I'm just going to move it up a little bit higher on the on the Y, let's try uh, 10 or 15 looks pretty good. So I'll apply that and then switch back to the enemy. Drag that back in there. can alt click to expand everything to um, let's do 15 over here and for the enemy I don't think we really want to put anything there at least I'm not going to uh, so it's just a health bar basically I could just do that but I think I'm just gonna leave the text empty for now um, so let's add the mohawk, which I think is going to be a cube. Yeah, so. Uh, add the cube there. And the dimensions of the cube. Well, let me rename it real quick. So mohawk. And then uh, that's going to be 0.55. I guess it's a negative point two one and one. Okay, uh, it's looking pretty good. All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, apply that, and I think that's good for the enemy. So save your scene, apply the prefab, and. Just make sure it's looking like that over here too. 
Yeah, so we'll go ahead and delete that. And in terms of prefabs, we need to add a couple more things. So I'm going to add the bullet to the scene. So I'm going to create a sphere and rename it to bullet. We'll leave it at origin and we're going to change the scale to be 0.2. Uh, so that is going to need a rigid body. And it's not going to use gravity. So that way we can um, have the on collision going on. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so going to add the bullet script to figure out what to do on collision with the player's health. And let's move that to scripts. Um, that's it for bullet. So we can go ahead and put that in the prefabs. Delete it from the scene and save the scene. And for now, we have one more prefab, which is a spawn point, which is pretty simple. So it's going to be a empty game object. We'll rename it to spawn point. Set it at origin and add a script. Spawn point. And then I'll create it as a prefab. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and put the let's zoom in a little bit. There. Well, I guess it's fine. Yeah, so uh, at this point, like uh, we can go ahead and put our spawn points in there just to get that out of the way. So the first spawn point, I'm just going to put at three, 180. That way they're facing the camera. And uh, I'm going to give it a uh, color so we can see it. Since it's an empty game object, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll call this spawn point two. And this one, just want to make sure I, okay, this is still at origin. Uh, this one I wanted to put at negative three. So it's a little bit over and color red. Okay, so we got two spawn points for the players now. Um, that's looking pretty good. And I think I'll pause here, and then in the next video, we'll start working on the scripts for the uh, for all the prefabs. All right, thanks.